A Minnesota mother is continuing her quest to create change. Two and a half years have passed since a Brooklyn Center police officer shot and killed Dante Wright during a traffic stop. Flowers and signs have marked the spot where he died until now. This new permanent memorial stands in its place. But as WCCO's Alan Henry explains, a permanent shift in policing is proving to be a much tougher task. A lot has happened in the two and a half years since Dante Wright was killed in Brooklyn Center by former officer Kim Potter. In that time, Potter was charged, convicted, sent to jail and released. The city settled a lawsuit from Wright's family for millions. And just this week, work finished on a memorial to Wright, just feet from the spot where he was killed. It's a place where community are they're able to remember um, who my son was, but they were also able to remember what happened there and hopefully bring light to a system that needs that needs change. One thing that hasn't happened is any structural change in policing policy, despite a change in chief, mayor, and several council seats. And it was frustrating, um, disheartening. I wanted it to be as quick as possible as a lot of community members did. But it's not for a lack of trying, and those efforts could soon see results. Tonight, city leaders and committee members spent two and a half hours in this meeting, finishing their work on police reform, focusing on traffic stops and searches. Uh, but this was really the first time we were able to get the council, the community members that have been part of making those recommendations from the implementation committee, as well as some of our uh, police staff in the room at the same time to have that conversation. This is actually the first time um, in two years that I could walk away from a city council meeting with a smile on my face and feel like we accomplished something. Alan Henry, WCCO News. Brooklyn Center's mayor says that the council should be ready to vote on their police proposals at their next meeting. That is scheduled for Monday evening.